Two and go. Hello and welcome to This Week in Geek, the sh weekly show where we talk about all things that happen in the geekosphere and nerdosphere of the world that we live in. I'm um, joined today by my co-host, Rachel Dick and Giovanni Estrada, and she I'm your host, Eric Lucas, so let's get right into the crazy topics that went on this week. Lots of stuff, guys, lots of controversial news. I know we're going to get right into the meat of it in the middle here, so let's start with some light stuff, and we'll work up a pent-up uh, nerd rage as we get going, okay? And then we'll talk about Yay. all the other stuff. Um, some news to start out. It's not up yet, but just like a kind of a PSA, the Transformers 4 uh, Extinction, Age of Extinction trailer is going to be up later today. I guess Entertainment Tonight, for some god-awful reason, got the exclusive to that. So is that a new trailer, or we could just get brand like new an extended or international No, it's a brand, it's a brand, brand new, new trailer, trailer. Um, a longer trailer than we saw, obviously, in the Super Bowl, which was only, what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds? Right. So this is the full trailer we're okay. going to actually see now, and Entertainment Tonight got it, so... All right, I'm okay. As long as I get a trailer. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so that's going to be up later. That's going to go up at 4 uh, p.m. Eastern, or 4 p.m. our time, three, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So cool. in about an hour. <laughs> uh, all right, Captain America Winter Soldier, we're only a month, a little less than a month away. About a yeah, month April today. April 3rd, right? Yeah. So we're about one month away. We, we get a lot more featurettes coming out, you know, things like that. This actually was a cool one. We have this one, Jeff? We have this one, so we'll watch it live with you guys. So it's called Conspiracy, and it kind of dives into, it's not a full trailer or anything, but it kind of dives into a little bit of the back history and the dealings that are going to be. It does some has, has some extra footage it for Falcon. It has a little bit of extra yeah. footage for Falcon. So yeah. without further ado, three, two, and one. Not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. I joined S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. In this movie, Steve Rogers' story is really the continuation of his journey in the modern world that he started in the Avengers. He has a bit of a moral dilemma working for Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D. He's a little suspicious of people's motives when they approach him. We're going to neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen. Thought the punishment usually came after the crime. This film is dealing with conspiracy theories, that kind of big brother element. You know how the game works. Disorder, war, all it takes is one step. Cap gets to a certain point in the film where he's not sure who he can trust. Sometimes the person you need to trust is a you stranger. You need to decide to go with this narrative. Uh, time. The, the Falcon, Falcon works with Captain America and Fox back through, through this years, ordeal right? because yeah. he believes so in it. Kind of fits in really well. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Caps yeah. Embrace so, the I mean, fact even his previous life is gone. The old life comes in and punches him in the face in the form of the Winter Soldier. There's a certain amount of mystery. But I mean, it ties into the whole that really appealing. Red Scare kind of idea. I like the one. Pretty great job. Yeah. Pretty cool. Are they are they like making it a point to try to hide the identity of the Winter Soldier for like MCU only fans? Oh, is that the preview? Maybe not as sorry, Rachel, like what did you say? I was <laughs> saying like I mean we all know who Winter Soldier is, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, are they ma are they are they a, a making an attempt to try to hide the identity for like MCU only fans? I think for the normies they are. No, you know what? Right? I went to the comic con panel and they discussed this idea that everyone knew who Winter Soldier is, or at least the majority of the people. Okay. And it's not really about that. They said they were said it was more about Captain America's discovery that he is Bucky. Yes, yeah. and that's yeah. kind of what they're trying to focus on. Is yeah. that it's like his it's discovery. Mm -hmm. It's how he's reacting yes. to finding out that it's his best friend, yes. as opposed to like, oh my god, who is it? Right. It's Bucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what they want to do. So, right on. That's cool. So, in addition to that, we also have a new Captain America poster. Uh, I think this is the first official one that we see. So that one says four four, but that that's at three twenty six. Before it said March twenty six, something like. They always do it a week before, but. Anyways, <laughs> is he trying to block some debris going on? Yeah, it just looks cool. like a generic Marvel yeah, poster. Yeah, generic Marvel poster. Lots of Photoshop. I remember the one they released last week with Falcon. At his body was disproportionate, and oh yeah, yeah, it was looked, looked real all, weird. It looked really weird. Photoshopped yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then what was cool is that I guess Marvel tweeted this out, and they put Cap fans check back soon for uh, exciting announcement. They haven't put anything out yet. I thought they new. did. I thought it was an app that. Um, that followed with that. It was like a cool this, augmented reality app. This came out two days ago, so yesterday something? Yeah, it was something? an augmented reality app. So what I does think. it do? Just tell I, me because I, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I just saw it that they released. It was some okay. sort of augmented reality app that goes for along with iOS, for, yeah, for iOS's and stuff. Check it okay, out. Check I, don't, it I don't out. know that big Go deal, search your app store. Did, <laughs> yeah, I thought they released something. 
As long as it works. I always hate these like movie tie-in, like whenever they do mm-hmm. anything else besides their actual product. It always kind of Nobody fails cares. in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't want to download an app. Like I feel like the app is the new uh, video game tie-in where every single like cool movie they ever came with, they had to make some half-baked video game to go along with it just for to right. try to make some quick money. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I feel like that that's the new app. They're like, oh, we can do it cheaper and faster. Yeah, get an app out there. Those, those yeah. things always turned out really terrible, yeah. too. Really rushed. Yeah. So anyway, Captain America coming out in a month. And you can go check that out on, uh, we'll put these in the show notes. All right, so next one, we kind of just watched it before the show started, and we were kind of giggling and stuff. There's a shot-for-shot shot remake of Hook with uh, Dante Bosco reprising his role as Rufio. Yep. And then a bunch of just friends, I guess. <laughs> no, I think it's <laughs> In people. a garage. Yeah, crew, <laughs> <or> not, staff, <laughs> yeah. whatever they are. So that's pretty cool. We'll put the link in there. I don't think we have the video for that, but it's basically we watched it and it's pretty close. It's he, pretty damn close. He's yeah. he's pretty still. He's still got the moves for his age. I mean, well, how old is he? Isn't he his forties now? No, he's not that old. Thirties? Yeah, I think okay, he's thirties. Well, I mean, one thing that you want to say it's like it is a homemade version. So they oh, got, definitely. Like, cardboard boxes set <laughs> yeah, up behind yeah. a fence. And yeah, they're using like, wobbly uh, yeah. swords. <laughs> it's, yeah, but still, I mean, it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Mm-hmm. And it's if got you're a fan of Hook or Dante mm-hmm. Bosco for that matter, you should go check it out. Yeah. All right. Get to Rachel's fun part here. The first two minutes of Veronica Mars were uh, released this week, and I think all of us have seen it. I don't know if actually I have seen it. no, I so have not. Gonna, I, have, watch this I have I have not watched this because I want to wait. Watch this? I was want to wait. And right, do you want to wait? Movie. Okay, well we don't have to watch it. Well, we it's it's it. a it's basically a recap. It's just a recap of the of the series of the series. Yeah, it's a recap of the series. But they're they're basically said they're going to play this in front of the movie. I, think that's I thought it was. I thought minutes. it was the first two minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. They were so it's saying yeah. the first two minutes of the movie is a recap, a recap of yes. the series. Oh. Yeah. Is that okay? Are you a backer? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's got the sticker on her. I got a sticker. I got the T-shirt oh, too. Okay. Cool. All right. I got a fifty dollar backer. It doesn't. It, there's not too much. I don't think there's anything new actually. Well, it in does fact. spoil the series. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Jeff. Okay. I'll move my mic away again from the. Yay, Warner Brothers. How long has Veronica Mars been on? Was it 2006 was when it was canceled? I need your help, Yeah, now Veronica. she's like... I'm gonna need your help. A teenaged private so eye. Younger. Trust yeah. me. I know how dumb that sounds. But it's not like I found a decoder ring so at the bottom of a cereal ago, box and thought, that sounds like fun. I wish. <laughs> That would have been Classic adorable. Classic Veronica Mars style, like. Nope. My best friend was murdered when I was 15. Trying to figure out who did it was how I coped. My dad was sheriff at the time, and when he went after the most powerful man in town, he turned us both into pariahs. Dad lost his job, and I lost my friends. Kids can be cruel yeah, very after young. all. <laughs> yeah. The cruelest was Logan Eccles, my dead friend's boyfriend. Like me, Logan was fueled by rage What network did this air on? Was it CW? It was he WB, and then it was the C- and then it was one of the, the shows. It yeah. kind of didn't survive the what drew switch. Us together. <laughs> like Season three, when she went to college, and it wasn't that good. Apart. After my dad was run out of office, he got his PI license and opened an agency. I just hung out. I hung out there <laughs> to learn the tricks of the trade. There was plenty of work for both of us in the seedy beach town of Neptune, California. People might think of Neptune as glamorous, we should all go visit Neptune. home to movie California. stars and captains of industry. Place? But when yeah, it's, it's like it's like right outside, it's outside San Diego. Yeah. It's right outside San Diego. Yeah. Okay, it like it's a Springsteen song. Oceanside. Get out I while you're young. Think I actually think so. Yeah. I got out when I was 19. Leaving a trail of destruction like in my shot where there she is. There's a shot where someone's supposed to be outside a hotel, up, I remember, and it's like the San Diego Convention. That was Center. the old me. Yeah. The angry Vengeful me. Vengeful me. New me? People say I'm a All right. marshmallow. There it is. Well, I mean, this is nothing new. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's nothing yeah. new. They don't show any footage. They don't show anything. But I think that's smart for them to play that in the front of the movie just in case for people who are like going to be going into the movie. And Apparently, see from what I understood from test screenings, it was like even the response from people who hadn't seen the show was really positive. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, it, it got a huge response on Kickstarter. What did it end up raising? I think it was like the, the, the goal was $2 million and they ended up with $5 million nice. by the time it was. And then Warner Brothers covered the rest, basically. Is I think, yeah. Worked? They had to like pretty much show them that. Yeah, it was like it was like they they covered the production cost and Warner Brothers was covering the distribution cost. Oh, cool. So it's still a low budget movie then if it was only five million to produce it and then 
this distribution is usually only about three million. Wow. <laughs> I mean, hey man, their fans. It all went to her salary. Yeah. <laughs> they just came on for peanuts. <laughs> That's cool. I'm I'm excited about it. Um, I started watching it like after the original show had already aired. Um, season three, like you said, I picked it up in there and it was okay. <laughs> but it, I wanted to know about the story because it was kind of an intriguing story. So I went back and watched both uh, the the previous two. Yeah, seasons the third season hooked. does not do the first two seasons justice. No, no. But I did. I mean, when I was watching, I think I ca- kind of started watching because me and a bunch of friends like picked it up at the time back in you know, like eight, <laughs> mm-hmm. and so we were like, oh, let's you know. Let's watch it. And then I was kind of telling them, uh, I don't really like the show, but I kind of wanted to know what the whole premise was. Like, oh, what the hell is she, like, hanging out at this right. place? Or why, okay, she's in college. Who is she trying to figure out murder? Do you think they'll okay. bring that to Netflix pretty soon? Back? Think, yeah. Well, I think if they were smart. The, the, the episodes to Netflix. I mean, it used to be on Netflix. It used to be on Netflix. Yeah, and then I guess the rights ran out. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's all Netflix. Yeah. That's Who knows? Interesting. <laughs> is that's, anywhere, where, that's where I watched it. That's where I watched the first two. I watched. I it took. They actually took it off Netflix before I even finished the third, the third season. I always go to this cool website called Can I Stream It to see if it's uh, available anywhere online. So let's see. Can I Stream dot it? Great little site if you want to see if something's legally available to watch online. Okay, so it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon, so you can okay. you can you can rent it cool. for fourteen ninety nine. Only the first season? Oh no 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 wait this is this is the movie. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I guess, guess no. That's all right. Let's the other one's not available. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to use nefarious. <laughs> nefarious. Or go to uh, Walmart and buy the seasons, I guess, or Best Support Buy the movie. or yeah. Amazon. Yeah, sure. Okay. Nobody's going to do that. <laughs> okay. Have you guys read this? This is the new Matrix trilogy is in the works by the Wachowski siblings. Mm-hmm. I have to say that right. I yeah. always say brothers and people. Watch it. Browbeat me. <laughs> so Wachowski siblings, new Matrix tril- trilogy in the works. Not a premise yet, obviously, but people are speculating that it might be a prequel. Yeah, well, they mentioned the idea that the the architect was like, Neo, you're not, you're the, not first the first one. You're not the first one. Right. Yeah. So. Do you want to see a Matrix prequel? Yeah. Yeah. I can get more behind more Matrix. I always feel like prequels don't end up. Uh, wait, is it going to be another trilogy? If it's another, another trilogy. Trilo- yes. Another trilogy? Yeah. Latina Review. You know, Latina Review is so good at finding leaks. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just want to say, throw that out there. Um, what about you, Rachel? Did you ever watch I mean, I've seen all of them. The I, is, is, <laughs> make I haven't sign. seen them. I mean, the last time I saw any of them was when I was a kid. So I, okay. I mean, I have, a, I have to go. I, obviously, I'm going to appreciate at least the first one more if I go back and watch it as an adult who loves science fiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I haven't seen it since I was pretty should make pretty that young. Psychron movie night, The Matrix. For anybody who hasn't seen it, really good. They at least the first one was pretty groundbreaking for its yeah. time. And it says, like it says right here, made one point six three billion. Yeah, made <laughs> the, the, all what? three of them together. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The no details trilogy would be about one of the early outlines about the birth of the Matrix. I personally would like to see. Did you watch the animes? Oh, the Animatrix? Animatrix. Animatrix. I've seen Animatrix. more of the. An- yeah, I've seen the I- Animatrix. There's a couple of them that actually delve into how the whole Matrix got started because man. Uh, lived too lavishly with machines mm-hmm. and the machines rebelled okay. and it was one machine that like it broke one of the laws of robotics and it killed a human because it got fed up with it and threw it's it out like i robot man kind of yeah, yeah. It, it's very similar um and so that's how it kind of all got started and then the machines and men cool. clashed and then the, the 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 humans burned out the sky so they couldn't have solar power and in doing so, they kind of killed their own stuff, and so they had to go underground, and that's that sounds yeah. kind of awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. So I like yeah, the animatrix. I remember, I remember watching that, even though I hadn't really been familiar with the movies, just as a standalone thing, because there's, I think there's what 17 shorts or something like that. 12, I thought. I owned it at one point. It's yeah, there's, it's like a bunch. There's a bunch of shorts, and some yeah. of them are really, really cool. Yeah, definitely. There's yeah a couple about like the adventures that Neo has between the movies, where he rescues the kid. Actually, the kid that's in number two, that's that's tag along with him, the shaved head kid. Yeah. He's actually in one of his origin stories is one of the Animatrix little shorts on how he pulled him out of the Matrix. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. sounds pretty cool. All right, so possibly new Matrix. Go away. <laughs> People trying to break into our it, studio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on. Okay, so we are right in the center of it. Let's 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 yeah, crack the knuckles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Back. Loosen the vocal vocal cords. Yeah. All right, set the stage here. Terry Gilliam who directed such films as? 12 Monkeys in Brazil. Big, big... Uh, Monty Python. Monty Python person. He, he came out 
in an interview uh, with ComingSoon.net, and basically didn't bash, but they asked. He he solicited his opinions on how he would do Watchmen and how he thinks Zack Snyder. Uh, let me pull the actual. Well, I think quote he was here. was he was. They were going to give him the movie at one point, and then something. He was happened. one of the directors. I mean, yeah. there was a. They've been talking about a Watchmen movie since 1990. That's yes, exactly and what that's, they say right yes, here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And he was supposed to be a part of that. Yeah, I remember Arnold Schwarzenegger was supposed to play Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep, that was the that was the original the original outline uh, had Arnold Schwarzenegger as Doctor uh, Manhattan. Okay, so he says. Much better movie when talking about Snyder's version. He said, oh, God, I mean, Zach came out the right way, but was too much of a slave to the material. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, God. Slave to the material. I, I don't think that. Shall we quantify that statement? <laughs> There's no other way to make a movie, a Watchmen movie, unless you're going to be someone who's a slave to the material. The fans would Terry Gilliam after that. Like, they would Nobody wants to see fit. someone else's interpretation yeah. of watching. I was going to say, in, in my opinion, dealing with comic book movies and any movies that deal with some sort of uh, material that has an origin that fans love to begin with before any other thing right. is made of it, it's better when you stick closer to the material. Yes. And especially, I know, for me, and people hate me for saying, ah, you, why are you a slave to the comic books? Are they doing their own thing? Because the, the person who originally had the vision, this is how they want to do it, and everyone loved it. And that's yes. why we love it, because mm -hmm. this vision, we don't want to see somebody go up and make a chop shop out of it. And, right. <laughs> and it's not like, Watchmen's not like Batman, where there's a million different adaptations, right. and there's like a million different plot lines. There's, right. I mean, one there's watch. one story. It's the book. There's yeah, the book. The there, I mean, yeah. Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah. There's not... A bunch of different plot lines right. you can get inspiration from. This is really, there's one watch. Shall we see what he says? Let's let's read some. What he did was told the story as is, but instead of the whole notion of the intergalactic thing, which was too hard and too silly, what he did was maintain that the existence of Doctor Manhattan had changed the whole balance of the world economy, the world political structure. He felt that character really altered the way reality had been. He had Ozymandias, Ozymandias character convinced essentially the Doctor Manhattan character to go back and stop himself from being created. So there would never be a Dr. Manhattan character. He was the only character with real supernatural powers. He went back and prevented himself from being turned into Dr. Manhattan. In the vortex that was created after that occurred, then these characters from Watchmen only became characters in a comic book. <laughs> I feel like Terry Gilliam yeah. doesn't understand the concept of Dr. Manhattan <laughs> if he thinks Dr. Manhattan can go back in time and erase himself from existence because yeah. Dr. Manhattan exists across <laughs> all of existence at the same time. Yes. He does not exist within the normal realm of time. That's mm. not that's not how it works. Yeah. So I yeah I like to reiterate your point. I just don't think he gets it. No, I don't <laughs> think he. I mean, um, we were talking about this earlier, but Z I think I mean unpopular opinion, but like I think that Zack Snyder's the ending that he did was, I thought it made sense narratively for the book, and I thought it made sense for a movie. Like we were saying, if you know, mm -hmm. <sighs> Two hour, you know, two hour, two and a half hours so in this long movie. So explain the difference. I haven't read the book, but I've seen the movie several times. Explain the difference between the ending and the book. So in the movie, what happens is Ozymandias frames Dr. Manhattan for this huge explosion. Correct. That decimates, what, half of New York or something like that. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. of that, Dr. Manhattan decides that he's going to kind of like bow out of mm -hmm. Earth's problems and go off and do his own thing. Right. Which is what he does in the book. But instead of framing Dr. Manhattan, what Ozymandias does is he creates this... He has this island out in the middle of nowhere, and he has a bunch of scientists and a bunch of artists on it. And what they're doing, basically, it's revealed that he's having them create this alien. And what giant he does squid, is right? giant squid. It's a giant squid. Ah, uh, yeah. So he creates this giant squid, and he teleports it into the middle of New York, and it dies. <laughs> and then when it dies, it sends out a psychic shockwave that kills everyone. Oh. And so that's, and then because of that, he was like, oh, the world is going to unite against this threat. And that's going to end this nuclear wow. war. Wow! Imagine that in the instead movie, of in the movie yeah. where he uh, frames Doctor Manhattan and and makes and kind of brings everyone together yeah. against the common enemy that's Doctor Manhattan. He brings mm -hmm. everyone against this common enemy that is a giant squid monster. Looking back, yeah, that probably. If you have hadn't read so the book well. and you had seen <laughs> that in a movie that was already kind of <laughs> weird. Yeah, when the movie came out, I think the giant squid was a big part of like. I mean, that was when when fans found out that there wasn't going to be a giant. Squid, they were pissed, yeah. but I mean, I was. I mean, I was. Were you pissed? I want to say I was pissed because I felt like I was trying to be reasonable about it, and I actually. Give him a of the doubt before you. And I actually it. liked. It's just hard to translate that to film, I think, especially because the squid just kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, you can go look up what it looks like on the internet. Yeah. It's it's pretty weird. You can search like Watchmen Squid, you can find God. it. Watchmen Squid. Hmm. There it is. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that would have been very strange to put in a movie. <laughs> yeah, so, but... But I also heard it... Oh, there you go. And then Zack Snyder did respond to Terry Gilliam's... Yeah, so I haven't read this yet. What did he say? He... Should uh, I try to pull it so up? So I, I think they... Uh, the same uh, coming soon, I think, also did yeah. write it back. But uh, he basically came out and said that... I mean, he was said, fans, if we would have done uh, Terry Gilliam's version, fans would have been pissed. They'd be mad to basically like there you go kick us out you know it's his quotes very straight to the point very forward and towards it so fans would have stormed the castle on that yeah one. <laughs> uh it's probably my favorite movie i've made i love the graphic novel and i really love everything about the movie i love the style just movie yeah so he's very much back yeah. himself up. Maybe that's, mm-hmm. i enjoyed it i enjoy zack snyder's visuals and man of steel was pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> I, I do not like Man of Steel. I don't. I mm, well, we'll talk about that. <laughs> another. This is another conversation. But um, anyway, so yeah, lots of angry directors getting angry at each other <laughs> over geeky movies. I loved everything <laughs> Zack Snyder's made except Man of Steel. Except Man of Steel. Yeah. All right. My one. I always forget that he made the Dawn of the Dead remake, Dawn and that, that is really good. That's Amazing. better than the original. The baby coming out. <laughs> Thing was awesome. Got me back into zombie mm-hmm. movies when I was really young. Yeah, yeah 2001, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, we 2004. talked about this last time, didn't yeah. we, when we were talking about this? 2004. 2004. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead remake. Super good. It's kind of one of those, when it starts out, the movie starts out, and you're sitting there in the theater not ex- knowing what to expect, mm-hmm. and a little girl comes into the room, and you're like, what's this little girl going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Super good. <laughs> Just right into the neck, like, oh, God. Yeah. That and was- that uh, the jazz lounge cover of down with the sickness. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. That was like mm-hmm. a little Easter what, egg. In the, in yeah, wasn't in the, it? I, all when they were going throughout that the was whole a, wall. Wasn't like Richard Cheese. Yeah, that was Richard, Richard Cheese. Cheese's yeah. version of it. Yeah. Oh, so good. We should watch that one now. <laughs> that should be a movie night pick. Movie night. Okay, nobody's here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move back into the comic book realms. Uh, uh, movies. Avengers: Age of Ultron sneak peek coming to ABC. So kind of a little PSA for everybody. It's going to be during one of. <sighs> I just t- don't. Is it during a shield episode? Or is Probably. It during yeah. I, oh, wouldn't I just don't like how they th- try to make people watch Agents of Shield by tricking them by <laughs> offering new <laughs> looks at the movies. Because I really don't care about Agents of Shield. I don't. I know. started. W- did you stop watching it? I just have no. I watched I two don't. episodes and I stopped because I just wasn't a fan of it. Th- during the break, I think they fixed something. Um, they fixed something or? Just well, well, they changed. They they they're focusing finally getting. Uh, in my opinion, one of the the things that hurts the series is you have this Marvel Universe and you get people interested in all these huge, big characters and they don't have any of those in the show. You're yeah, it's about the f- friggin' grunt workers at S.H.I.E.L.D. Right, but in the second half of the, when they took their break, it's probably by Have plan. they mentioned HYDRA? Uh, not yet. Oh, uh, come on. But they've been on a big hiatus. They haven't had a show since January and they're ramping up again for their like little kind of, I think they're going to do like three right before the movie comes out. So I think next week is the first of three and then the movie. It's going to lead into Winter Soldier. Uh, but... They've actually kind of, not fully, but explained kind of like what happened to Coulson, which I think was a big hook for why people wanted to watch the but show I just, in the first I place. I don't care about Coulson enough to want to watch a show about him. Yeah. So, so what, <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it. I want to know. I don't want to watch the show. It's very it. strange. Like, I have to say that episode, that first one back that I watched where they don't explain it fully, but they explain kind of, what they do is they explain why he doesn't remember what happened right. to him. It was very disturbing for a TV show. Like, I haven't seen this kind of, like, disturbing imagery in, on a TV show in a Did while. they bring back the scientist? For ABC, should I say. From the first episode, that it was actually the Reverend in Firefly. Oh. He was uh, a scientist in the very first Ron episode. Ron Glass. Yeah. And what it was... In the very first episode of S.H.I.E.L.D., they showed uh, he's, a, the fi- he's the Reverend in Firefly. Shepard Book. Yeah, Shepard Book. And um, he's a scientist. Yeah, he was a, like a doctor. Uh huh. And I, I was like, oh, that's awesome. If he's gonna make reoccurring appearances, and that's he it. might have died. <laughs> I don't what? remember. His, I don't remember his character per se. What was they saying? What did he do besides being? A no, scientist? he w- he knew the secret to Coulson. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. He's he's gonna come back. He he was only in one. He was yeah. in one. Yeah. He was in one scene for this episode that I'm talking about okay. because Coulson goes and confronts him. Okay. In a car in a shady alley. <laughs> okay. Um, but he'll be back probably because yeah, he's he's he was. In, Ah, I don't want to explain, but he was okay. in the room where okay. everything went down with cool. Coulson. So, right. yeah, he actually did the operation. 
Okay. See, see, it's, I, that's why. That's the only reason I keep watching Shield, and they keep bringing these like little small characters from the oh, comics. Man. Like, okay, you're kind of wet in our. Why not? They recently had a Thor. Well, isn't yeah. uh, Sif gonna be on there? She's gonna oh. be on the next episode uh, tonight. <laughs> tonight or next yeah. week, the next whenever they come back okay. from their break. And uh, what were you gonna? I'm sorry. I was they had a Thor, to... some sort of Thor. They had, had a, they had a Thor. They had, they cleaned up the area of London. That's all they were doing. And then they found like a bit see? piece of a staff. No, see that's why. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you get all these name drops, yeah. but it's like no, you're not gonna get Robert Downey well, yeah, here or Chris Evans to why appear can't on this show. they introduce maybe smaller like superheroes? To be honest, they are well not superheroes, but they're in- introducing small supervillains for them to go. Fort, I guess. What about like Iron Fist or? No. No. <laughs> like that's what that's what the first character, the guy the, in the very first episode, because that's probably the only one I remember. They had the guy who was super powered. He had the. Uh, He's back. Juice. He's the main character now. Oh, He's isn't it? Um, it's um, Gun from Angel, right? Yeah. They're making him into a main supervillain. They're yeah. making him into a main supervillain. Yeah. He's even actually in the last episode. They showed him in his full like. Even suit. even though they. They turned him good. He had the, the stuff inside him. So he got to go back and watch. He goes through this oh, whole cycle of cool. of wanting to help his know. kid because they took his kid. Yeah, and so he betrays yeah, Shield at one point. All right, all right, and then, just... yeah, he gets pretty much blown in half, and they reconstruct him, and that's how he becomes a super. Right. Okay. Anyway. All I know is it's 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 Gun from Angel, right? That's who it is. The I guy? think so. Yeah. Jay August. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, anyways, uh, ABC is announced we begin next month. It doesn't say. Well, Assembling. Oh no! It's a one-hour special called Marvel Studios Assembling Universe. So okay. it's so not, it's just gonna be like a documentary show. about. Yes, and we're gonna see footage. The MCU. Of the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Which they've only shot a few scenes over in uh, Cape Town. So oh, I don't wait know. for what? Ultron. Oh, for Age of Ultron. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we'll see that. <laughs> we'll see whatever. Well, you know doing. what? It's surprising is they've only had um. When I love that poster, but that's not for, an official. For uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, when they showed us footage for Comic Con, they'd only been ten days in shooting. And they already had so much. Those editors must have been working. Yes, on they had so much to show. Seventy-two hours in a row, just like on Doctor Pepper and like Chill. Yeah, yeah they had so much <laughs> that they showed, and it was amazing. So I mean, if they've had some stuff, I can guarantee you that the stuff they do show is going to be pretty awesome. That'll be cool. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, PSA: Ninja Turtles trailer going to be attached to Captain America: Winter Soldier. So if anybody's going to go I'm see that, I'm very nervous about that. Nervous. Yeah, I'm very nervous about them turtles. Them turtles, yeah, them because turtles. because the leaks that came on that I got a takedown notice for, yeah, Tumblr. <laughs> um, oh, so I just that's wanna, not that's <laughs> I don't think this is it. No, that's a that's the no, that's an official one. That's I an official wanna, post. Yeah, that's <laughs> what the, I just want to point out the fact that this is sort of like goes back to like Michael Bay. So they have the bandanas, right? But then you look at Raphael. He's wearing a do rag. Are we kidding? You can't disguise that. Are they do rag? <laughs> oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna have like a like a stereotypical black voice? That's what I'm, I'm I like really is. scared oh. that he's gonna be like. The only one that looks kind of normal is Leonardo down there. Leonardo, and then you like if you just do that. Wait, who's, like, got, who's up wearing goggles up at the? You're top? like, all right, he, that's Donatello. That's Donatello. He's got oh these, yeah. 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 And, and he's got some and hipster glasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and what's weird is that they they don't really they have oh very and so wait samurai. Michelangelo's got a chain he's got like a chain oh boy <laughs> they have samurai stuff too like they're they're. Shields and stuff. Yeah. They're like samurai. Right there, the, yeah, the bamboo. Yeah, right yeah. <laughs> Not really ninja, like. Yay. <laughs> I'm very so nervous. if you're looking forward to seeing Ninja Turtles, there will be a trailer in front of camera. I mean, I like the look. It looks pretty gritty and realistic, but their costumes. But they're turtle. They're, yeah. I mean, how gritty and realistic can you make Ninja Turtles look? Not much more than they yeah. did in the original one. Yeah. That's pretty gritty. It was like dark Manhattan night. Yeah. You know, it's pretty good. All right, let's move on. Okay, move on. Uh, Adam Driver from the show Girls. Girls is going to play the main villain in Star Wars Episode Seven. Reaction. I, I don't watch <laughs> Girls, I don't, so I don't know anything about him. Uh, we have that up, Jeff, that they're looking at. He looks really creepy, so I kind of like it. Okay. I He could pass as yeah. a villain. You chop that hair off a little bit, you know, give him some makeup, put a crazy suit on him. It'll work. I mean, they've turned some... He will Look who they turned down. They turned Michael down Michael Fassbender, who already looks like a real life supervillain, and Hugo Weaving, and Hugo Weaving, who also looks already like a real life supervillain. Super <laughs> well, Hugo Weaving, you know, he's been so many villains in so yeah. many different movies. Well, he's a main character in Lord of the Rings, not a villain. Yeah. And also, well, he's also um, he was in Matrix, Ma- uh, yeah. Captain America, Red Skull, and he's Red Skull. Yeah, yeah. So he's been a lot. I guess maybe that's why they kind of mm-hmm. wanted to distance yeah. him. But I think Michael Fassbender would have been good. He's in a lot of movies now too, though. He's probably X Men, yeah. and I'm sure they'll make some more spin-offs. And he was that. in uh, 
uh, not a lot of people liked it, but the Aliens um, prequel. Um, Prometheus. Prometheus. Thank you. God, I love Prometheus. That was he was uh, the android yeah. in Prometheus. The android was the only good part of that movie. Yeah. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I really like Prometheus. I, think, I feel like we should have a special where we just yeah. like talk about our favorite shows, yeah. our favorite movies, and then we like all kill each other over them. Yeah. <laughs> like why we liked or didn't like just it. Just like, oh. Yeah, God, no! Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, why don't you like Prometheus? <laughs> She's like, because it was shit. <laughs> I'm like both sides of the other. Yeah, you know, it was like when I first saw it, I thought it was okay, and then the more I thought about it, I was kind of like, I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't think it was terrible. I, I just didn't like it. I feel like the guy who, he, the, the main writer for that movie was the same guy who did Lost. Um, uh, what's his face? J.J. Abrams. No, no. Nope. No. Nope. No, the guy. Damon Lindelof. Damon Lindelof. Came, I feel like he came in, because there was a report a couple months after the movie came out that there was another script for it mm -hmm. that followed a completely different path of what Prometheus was going to be, and then Damon Lindelof si was signed on, and he came in and rewrote the entire script. Yeah. I feel like he fucked that movie up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's not a kid show. <laughs> so. this, I love what you titled. Was this the official title, or was that not... Twig? No, whatever you wrote that. Full, full frontal. frontal. Now I pulled that straight off a headline. <laughs> full frontal of Godzilla. So let's go to that one. I want to. Yeah. Okay, so this is our <laughs> first full shot frontal of, of Godzilla. Oh, God. And Unleashed there he disease. is. There it is. Yeah. Yep. So. Looks pretty. Pretty close looks to. Looks just like Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. Godzilla. Doesn't, isn't a too bad of a, of a take on him, which I enjoy. Actually, Rachel, Rachel was not on the show last week, but she watched the trailer with us last week, and I remember her just sitting over there saying, I think I'm gonna love this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I was I remember when we were at we were at Comic Con what was it twenty twenty twelve when they did the ago. yeah Pacific Rim trade when they had the Pacific Rim mm -hmm. teaser and you they thought were, it was gonna be good though. And then the, and no no and they had the uh they were like oh we're gonna show you guys something special and they didn't tell us what it was <laughs> and it was like the, it was like the first Godzilla teaser it was like the whole teaser you didn't know what it was and this the was two years ago yeah yeah and at the very very end of the teaser you see the ridges and you hear the, the whole roar. Through the building wow. the yeah it was amazing that was yeah. one of the coolest the Comic Con trailer? experiences yeah, I've ever and then they played oh, the, were you so there this has been, yeah I was they've there. had this footage for two years have they been so they're serious good I'm I like yeah that was I hate when they rush things that's good they've had it in production for and then you saw the trailer last year at Comic Con. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Was that the same one? It's not the same one, and they showed way more footage of that one than they did. In oh, because we were talking about this last yes. week about yeah. Mothra's gonna be in it. Really? They have the giant spider thing, and they have the I think with Mothra, Mothra. Was, Mothra. Was, Mothra was the other one. <laughs> so I think we're all excited about that. Mm -hmm. one. Um, Super awesome. Yeah. That was uh, by the way Empire Magazine cover, so that's on the shelves now. You can go grab that. Very excited. And last bit of news for movie, anything related Which to movie. Which isn't really news. I mean, he's, Not really. Yeah. Mark Webb returning to direct Amazing Spider-Man 3. I mean, it wasn't official, though. Yeah, they were but I floating mean. floating between directors and who they were going to ask. He did a good job with the first one. And mm -hmm. then, obviously, the second one's going to be a huge hit. I feel like people who complain about the first one are really just doing You've it. You've said this before. Yeah, because they're just doing <laughs> Toby it. Toby McGuire fanboys. Toby McGuire fanboys. They're just, <laughs> yeah. They're just too blinded by, I don't know, nostalgia. Blinded by the light. Yeah. Well, I... Well, I thought we've talked about this before, but yeah, uh, not my only problem was the ending, which I, they, they'll, I think they'll make up for it. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> when I first one. saw the uh, croc, he resembled a lot like the Goombas from. Yes, Super that's yeah, I originally thought you'd yeah. from the uh, Super Mario movie, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, uh, new to Blu-ray this week, uh, Hunger Games coming out this Friday, the seventh. Hunger Games, yes. You guys seen it? Yeah. Oh, we we, 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 we went, went to midnight. We, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I watched yeah. it at home. You watch it. <laughs> well, you go to more midnight stuff with us this year. Cool. We have a Sweet. full summer worth of movies Thanks to for go the see. <laughs> so if you haven't seen uh, Hunger Games, which who are you? Why are you watching the show? Go, <laughs> go, go get it. Uh, all right, let's move on to TV news and videos. We have uh, the Walking Dead recap. Uh, me and Gio, I assume. Watched did you it. watch? I, I saw did. it. I, saw I did. It. Rachel? No, you don't watch it anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. Rachel doesn't I've watch been, it. I've been out for, like been out for a while. For okay. a while, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one I focused... Like you didn't watch it? <laughs> I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't like it? Yeah, no, this I one focused completely on Daryl. Yes, Daryl. So, yeah. I'm not missing anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> this okay. One. It was... What I, I loved it. I loved it because it was character development. Sure, we already knew what Daryl did and probably already knew what... I'm on board with you, so keep talking. It. But, like, okay, we got... I love... <laughs> The, the, girl the chick. Yeah. Uh, what's his? his <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't remember. Herschel's her daughter. Beth. Beth yes. Thank Herschel's you. daughter Beth. Um, she pushed him. She pushed him to the limit. We saw a lot of her character yeah. in this one coming yeah. out of her Yeah. So show. I really liked their interaction and definitely and 
They're not gonna start dating. No, they're not. They gave a little tease. Like, they gave a little tease where she's like, she's like, no. Nah. Isn't, she like, <laughs> isn't she like 17 years old? Yeah, she's she is. 16. Yeah. Years. Yeah, um, which was really weird. Yeah, okay. they're not. But she gonna, was drinking moonshine. Drunk, yeah, so it's okay. So, but yes, it was didn't, didn't all do about they didn't character do development. It was all about character development, which I love learning more and more about the characters. Yeah, the premise. Is, yeah, the premise starts out with her. Mm-hmm. She's they're they're wandering the woods, doing their whole thing. He's yeah. eating a snake, which is kind of gross looking. That was pretty good yeah. visuals, by the way. Yeah, eating a roasted snake that its and skin was falling. They talked off. about <laughs> it in Talking Dead, where it's actually an eel. They were actually eating eel. Oh, that was yeah, they that were was actually eel. eating something. They were I thought eating, it was eating just a eel. Oh, no, they were eating God. eel. Oh, jeez. All right, I give him way more credit yeah. as an actor now. He My was God. eating eel. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the premise starts out where she's just fed up and she's like, "I want to, you know, if I'm gonna be living, I want to live and actually go do something for a purpose." So she's like, "I want to have my first drink." Right. And uh, that's where it all kind of goes from there. Um, and they get locked in a house and. You know, Daryl starts drinking, which you you get this feeling that he doesn't do it anymore for a reason, and we find out why because he turns into a crazy, angry drunk. <laughs> it was funny because <laughs> when they were talking about the um, the buddy, you know how they're talking about like, oh, as a young kid, we met this guy who. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah. he had a he was a meth addict. Yeah, who, right. Who had I a immediately kid that was thought taken Breaking Bad. I know. <laughs> I was like, is that Jesse? Crossover. Yeah. <laughs> I no, because like, he said the, he, the guy had a kid. Yeah, and also um, he, he mentioned that he called him a little bitch or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like there was a little <laughs> yeah. nod to, to the other AMC series yeah. there. <laughs> it so was that, pretty cool. Yeah, um, but at the end of the very episode, fucking yeah, without hilarious. ruining anything. Flipping, the, flipping yeah. the thing off. Flipping, flipping Big off release. what they just did. So. Big release. Very cool. Yeah, we didn't see any crossover in this one. It was just focused main, both on them. And we only saw a few zombies, too. It also, wasn't even that much zombies. I'll have, I have, well, there was some cool zombie killing with Daryl. There the was. Club. He was getting us some. He was getting some uh, tension out there. I also there. feel <laughs> that um, they're the only two characters so far that have not seen anything along the lines of Sanctuary. And right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel that er, there may be a possibility where they are going to be the first encounters of Sanctuary. Where they just stumble upon mm-hmm, it. Where they just stumble upon it. That'd and be cool. Would that play into the? To the books? Or? Oh, um, no, 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 no. Well, okay. no, the, the way they I feel find like Sanctuary they've been, is I f- different. I feel like they've been following the books more. They right? have been. Is that what we've yeah. been talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. They so, have. Walking Dead. And, oh, by the way, correction on last week. I went and tried to watch Walking Dead AMC. You have to be a Time Warner Cable subscriber. Oh, do you? Yes. Ah, oh, lame. So, that only works if you, or or a provider, Comcast, Time Warner mm-hmm. Cable. You have to enter your credentials oh, and everything. You? Yep. Oh, wow, that sucks. So, can't watch it for free on AMC unless you have cable. Damn. <laughs> so, go do another method of it. <laughs> it's actually not it's not actually that expensive. When I miss it live, I watch it um, we on my PS4. You can buy the episodes for 2.99. 3 bucks. It's a cup of coffee <laughs> to watch some awesome HD. Oh, it just seems like a lot for 45 minutes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, there's other ways to watch there it. There are other ways <coughs> if you want to watch it on yeah. your little computer. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, more TV news. Got a first look at The Flash from Oh, his spin-off. costume. Yes. Yep. Uh, spin off from the Arrow series. Yeah. So there it is. Looks awesome. It does look awesome. Yeah. Not too uh, assuming, not too crazy yeah. out there. I like that little style. chin thing that he's got going. He's got a little hook on yeah. the chin. Yeah. yeah. That thing's cool. And you can't. Re- I like this guy. The feel. <laughs> I was watching Arrow last week, and I have the. I, I just always get this like. I kind of like break out of that. This is a comic book show that I'm watching. Mm-hmm. And like, do you watch Arrow? No. 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 There's. I mean, there's a scene. Yeah, they kind of fixed it in this season, so now he's he's got a full like mask. But okay. he's standing like right. Literally, there's a scene where they're at a party with the uh, uh, black, uh, what's Mary? Black Canary's dad. And they're all like, black. The, her dad knows who she is now, but mm-hmm. they don't know who Arrow is. And they're all just standing there. And all of a sudden, they get a like police call. And they're like, oh, we gotta go. And then right. they, those two rush off because they know she's the Black Canary. And right. We're good. And then all of a sudden, Arrow like, okay, I'm gonna go out. And so he, <laughs> he shows he shows up there too. And he's literally like, he's still not shaved. Has the same jaw structure. Uh-huh. You can see the lower half of his face, right. and he's talking in the same cadence. But oh, I don't know who you are. Right. Uh, I always get so. There's like a suspension of yeah. disbelief. It's like that the like Superman goes glasses. Too far. It's the whole the Superman, Superman glasses, argument. Yeah. It's just. Oh, yeah. God. Flash looks cool. <laughs> they though. kind of do fix it sometimes because he has a voice encoder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's right. kind of like the guys who they blow around the face. <laughs> right. You know those TV shows. Well, Going back to the Flash thing, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be the first ones to actually see the Flash in costume in Arrow. Yeah, and they're going to. They will go from. I have a feeling that they're going to save it for the last episode, okay. the way they're building up. They just, in this last episode, finally 
uh, Arrow and Deathstroke meet for the first time since the island. Is he showing up in full costume? He has already shown up once oh, in full okay. costume. Cool. And it's amazing. Okay, cool, <laughs> and I have a lot to live up to because I'm going as Deathstroke to Comic Con. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I already bought the mask and everything. Oh, so now I got cool. now his like new costume came. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you're going to WonderCon. I will have no money. No, I'm not doing it at WonderCon. You're it's doing too it at Comic Con? Comic Con. You, you already got your tickets? Uh, not yet, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming uh, I will be getting it. I got my tickets already. So. Well, yeah, you're a pre order, right? Yeah, pre order. And we have like a Are you system. going, Rachel? Did you already get a ticket? No. Oh, but you're hoping? Rachel no, I'm not. Just, I'm kind of me. and I've kind of exhausted the amount of, like, fun that I've gotten out of Comic-Con. Oh, okay. I've kind of moved on. Well. By the way, Rachel wrote a great article on Divergence Magazine, which can be found on SiteGround.com, about our upcoming con season. Yes. So that check that out. Just a little aside. <laughs> All right, so Flash, cool. He's going to be coming up. Aaron Paul in his serious negotiations for Better Call Saul. I just thought it was cool because he's back in the news this week. He was on Monday Night Raw last night hosting, and so I think this was good timing for him. And he's in uh, Need, for Need for Speed coming out this coming week out. as well. Mm -hmm. So I think this would immediately make the show better. I don't know if they can afford to get him back. I think it, I heard it was going to be a lower budget show than originally planned. Isn't it a comedy? It's, a com it's a half kind hour of a comedy? dramedy, yeah. I think he said that there's still going to be some like dram dramatic points of interest, but for the most part it's going to be comedic. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be like Saul humor. So, any thoughts? You guys excited about it? I don't know. You guys watch both no. Breaking Bad? No. Nope. nope. You want to watch Breaking Bad? No, I watch. Here's watching. Do no, not dude, be that I, person dude, that tells me to watch Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad, dude. I seriously like. I Do watched, not be that person. I watched the first episode and I watched maybe one episode in between, and then I watched the very last episode, and I got, I'm pretty sure I got. Oh, it. you got it <laughs> yeah, all. <laughs> I got it all. I'm pretty sure I know the whole Breaking Bad oh, story. Oh man. They it's, open a Poyos and they open. No, yeah. no. They try to. I don't know. They try to catch a fly. Yeah, I know that. That happens. was one episode. Yeah. <laughs> that was a weird episode. That was a very weird episode. Yeah. Isn't that like the bottle episode? I'm pretty sure. I got. The I think it was just called the fly. No, it's episode. like a bottle episode where they're like in one room the entire time. For ninety percent of it, the, the beginning. Yeah, it's like a bottle yeah. episode. It's that's all I know is there's like an episode about a fly and they then, start I going mean, insane. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. Did you guys ever watch Being Human? No. No. Anybody? Oh, well, U.S. Yeah. Cancel. Isn't you? Isn't the U.S. Yeah. like one kind of like better than the U.K. one? It is way better. That's kind of what I heard. You saw the U.K. one? Yeah, I saw like the first four episodes. Oh, okay. Of the first season before I got bored. So, if you're fans, canceled. Four seasons and done. <laughs> uh, yeah, fans. Sorry. sorry. Done. Cancel. I mean, I feel like Sci-Fi's canceled a bunch of their shows lately, but I don't know how many people they expect to be watching them because <laughs> it's sci-fi <laughs> yeah because it's sci-fi like a, i mean they canceled alphas what last year two years ago alphas was good alphas was good that. there's a cool show coming up about the thing that's gonna be on sci-fi if i remember right like like a tv series the thing like the like john carpenter's the thing yes okay yeah, yeah I was about that looks pretty cool thing. so i don't know sometimes they're real hit and miss i haven't really watched anything on sci-fi since battle star galactica yeah <laughs> that's really that's it that's I, all you need yeah, I'm like I think that's it I can't remember there's not thing. only anything on sci-fi is ever ever going to come you have a bunch of those movies that, that are really terrible B movies they do mm -hmm. Octa yeah Octa but they Shark. make those movies Shark they tell they tell the, the producers and the writers Sharknado. when they make those <laughs> they tell them when they make those movies they're like make the, write these movies so that people who get drunk on Saturday night yeah, will watch they're, them they're terrible Sharknado Even, I, I, I hated that movie I don't care how many fans it had they're Sharknado? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> With Tara Reid? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> God, it was so dumb. What about the name and the star it makes you not want to watch that? <laughs> Sharknado with Tara Reid? <laughs> it had so much <laughs> hype and so much, like, there was you thought it was going to be more ridiculous. Movie. No, I knew it was going to be a it bad movie. It was a snakes movie. on a plane kind yeah, of movie. I knew it was going to be a bad movie, and um, but I, I, just, it was, it I was just I didn't like, like the, the hype that was behind it. It was and, a lot of hype. And I feel like maybe some of those people that were like, oh, yeah, Sharknado, they didn't even watch it, like, to be honest. Yeah. All right, Game of Thrones coming up very soon. New posters release. We got them up here. We'll I actually watch, watch Game of Thrones, so I'm I'm in on this one. Yeah, this is like one of the only not anime yeah. things that I watch Woo. that I look forward to. Uh, so here's, some, here's the Venice. posters. I saw that poster on Venice. It's that one's like a sweet huge, poster. Super good. Oh, on Venice, yeah, on Venice Boulevard. Yeah, they have this Boulevard. one. Out? Yeah, they have that one. Is this one? I don't have. I don't, I don't yeah. have that one. There was only one. Okay, well, we'll. We'll give you a link for the other ones, but the rest of them are pretty much. They're black just and all whites. character. Yeah, they're black and white character shots. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. When's the new season start? Four, four, four six. six. Okay. I still have to watch season three. You haven't watched it? Nope. No. Oh, so you don't know? Well, you. I mean, I feel like everyone already knows. First of all, 
I didn't wa start watching season one and season two till after I saw a preview for season four, which spoiled everything for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, okay, I knew. See, I remember when I first because I, I watched like, okay. I watched season one right after it finished airing. I watched it all at once, and so I've been caught up since then. And I remember there was I, I there was a period of time where I tried to hide from spoilers, <laughs> and eventually I just gave yeah. up and just went on Wikipedia and read everything. You're yeah. like, well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna. I don't have time to read these books. I don't have time. I tried. I read the. I read the first one, and I read like a third of a Clash of Kings, and I don't know. They're just, just. It's, it's a heavy dense. read. Yeah, it very is. Very heavy read. You can't. It's, why don't you go read War and Peace if you're gonna read something like that? It's a very thick book and very wordy. It's a very. It feels very long. It's very wordy. Um, just watch right. the show. Um, that's it for. Well, we usually have some an anime manga news. But, but uh, that was that was pretty slow this week, so I couldn't, I couldn't find. It. I looked, but I couldn't find anything. Twitch plays Pokemon ended. I, can, I guess we can insert that in there. Yeah, but they started their next game. They started uh, Crystal. Crystal is that what yeah, they're doing? Crystal. Yeah, I was. I, I got to be a part of it. Like I stayed up super late on Friday night slash Saturday morning. When they beat it. Yeah, yeah I was there. I was too. like, I gotta get in and make history. So yeah. I went in the chat room and like did some commands, but it wasn't anything because it's was all anarchy. So he's just like going like this. <laughs> anarchy. <laughs> But I felt it, it felt cool because I've been watching. You want to like be a part of it? Weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was cool. Definitely. 27,000. I know the peak was 34,000 people all playing at yeah. once. And then Rachel. Insane. Rachel has been talking to me to watch Kill a Kill, so I finally caught up oh. Kill a Kill. Okay. And Is that going to be our recommendation for this week? Is that yeah. a recommendation? Oh, well, we're getting to that next. So. Yeah, so let's Good. get to that. Oh, well, we're almost there. Actually, we got two more big things. Uh, Harold Ramis that? died last week, yeah, and we, we didn't did. mention it. Yeah. Our bad. <laughs> Um, obviously, probably his most famous one was Ghostbusters. Yep, and Caddyshack. And Caddyshack. Yeah, he was a real big. Uh, him and Bill Murray mm -hmm. were friends. And, and Bill Murray, Murray gave a really nice tribute. to Even him though I'm sure it wasn't that in the prompter. No, he, he, he no, that, that was something that, that, that he, he put, put it in. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and he apologized for it, which I don't think it's need for. So an this apology. this was some cool fan art that I put in the uh, that people are looking at right now. I just thought it was cool. Oh, that is cool. And they're still continuing on with the script, by the way. For Ghostbusters yep. 3, yeah. They're still continuing <laughs> the script. You know, I know, maybe I know uh, Bill Murray didn't want to do it. He didn't. I'm, and I'm sure yeah. this isn't going to be an incentive for him to do it, continue. But, I mean, it would be nice for the fans, but I don't think he's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Last bit. And then we'll go to our picks. We have some breaking news. That actually, just went up right before we went on air. No, not right before. Maybe two hours before we went on air today. The oh, yeah. Arkham Knight game announcement trailer. That by Rocksteady. By the original yes. studio that did the first two Batman mm -hmm. uh, Arkham games. Yeah. I didn't play Arkham Origins, Amazing. but I played the first two. I played about four hours worth of Arkham Origins and got so bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, after I beat Deathstroke. But is, is this going to be a continuation of Arkham? I don't. So. The way the the trailer plays out, it looks like it's a continuation of Arkham City. That's yes. what I wanted. Yeah. That's, that's what, what I wanted with like. Origins, and that's not yeah, what it was. It doesn't I think look that's like an Origins because the trailer care. shows a lot of uh, we'll see it right narrative now. and voiceover it. and stuff, and it yeah. looks awesome. And it's oh for next God. gen consoles too, which uh, is obviously going to make it that I don't much have better. Next gen console. I don't. I still am just with Sorry. my PS3. I think it's yeah. going to be for. I mean, you have PS3. Should I? Well, it says for PC. If you have a nice PC, you can play it. So it's not going to be for the PS3. Not, not, oh, not man. yet. Unless they make no, it. I, I don't think they'll release it. Too, sure. Man. I think it's getting to that point. Here's some it's images. Really, 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 really. And then they had the Batmobile for what? Okay, let's watch it. Okay. <laughs> it looks awesome. And Mike. Nothing. This is your only warning. Abandon the city. <laughs> your greatest fears. Who do you think that is, Doc? Scarecrow? Scarecrow, yeah. The last will and testament of the deceased, Thomas Wayne. In the event of my death, I hereby declare that all my worldly possessions pass to my son, Bruce Wayne. Bruce, I ask that you honor the Wayne family legacy and commit yourself to the improvement of Gotham City, its institutions, and its citizens. Please, be strong. You are young, but destined for great things. Make the most of your opportunities. Use them to give back to a city that has given us so much. To change the lives of millions of people, be frivolous with this wealth. 
please do not waste it all on fast car. That's the Batman movie that I want. The pursuit of a destructive lifestyle. Yeah, it's, that's it's, the, the Batman movie I want is the gritty Christopher Nolan movie. With invest in Gotham. Fantastic. Treat its people like family. Watch over them and use this money to safeguard them from forces beyond their control. My deepest regret is I will not see you grow into the this good man like, I know uh, you will yeah, become. And finally, my son, <laughs> I ask that you never abandon this city to fate. No. Don't worry about me, guys. I got this water bridge. We have lived through dark days. No doubt there are more to come. But it is the good and great men who stand up for Gotham when no, others turn and run. <laughs> In death, I will year. love you forever. This and the uncharted Your father, Thomas. Don't change it too much. Don't I, break I it. like don't, the. I don't, love these. Like, like, don't fix it if it's not broken. It's one of the most fun things. You can ever. always add stuff. Don't fix it. Don't wait. <laughs> Play as Harley Quinn if you pre order, which I But that's only in those little stages, the little side yeah, stages. Yeah, those are those little battle play. mode challenges. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Because I remember I had the Joker for the first one, Ark Arkham Asylum. That's mm. the P that was the PS3 exclusive, yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they had uh, for part Arkham City, they had. Oh, Bobby. so th this was an Xbox One only one at pre order? Because we just saw Xbox One graphics uh, live. It is going to be for PS4, though. Right they'll there. PS4 will probably offer Xbox a different. One. They'll probably do somebody else. Cool, man. It looks yeah, awesome. I am excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, like I said, the coolest part of that announcement is 2014. Like, you usually see these big trailers happen like this at like E3 or something. And other. it'll be like a year it'll and a like half later. Coming year. Yeah, exactly. It's winter. I mean, they've been working on this for quite a while and kept it under wraps. Well, I heard when uh, Arkham Origins came out, they were like asking, or not Arkham Origins, when uh, the last Arkham, Arkham City. City uh, when they released their last DLC, the Harley Quinn one, mm -hmm. um, they asked me, are, are you guys like seriously done? And they said, well, we're turning all rights over, you know, to uh, who's the studio that's doing Ar that did Arkham Origins? I don't, uh, I don't, know, I don't even remember. Was it 2K? Was it 2K? No. no some, it was a smaller one. But anyway, and they said, oh, we're turning all that over. We're going to be working on something different. But they mm -hmm. never said if it was a Batman game or not. Yeah. And so obviously it was a bad Batman game. <laughs> I think they were trying to be nice to the new studio and didn't want to crush everybody, like being like, I'm not even going to play this one because right. they're making another one. So I think that was. But obviously we see the fruits of the labor. <laughs> it's so great. <good. Yeah. laughs> so that's coming out in 2014. I assume holiday 2014. There's no way they're going to have this ready by oh, no. summer. No, no, no. Yeah. They gotta release it for all this. You know how many platforms? For God's sake, I I I'm already feeling it because a game of this magnitude. I I just hope it's not gonna go the way of uh, Watch Dogs and uh, Bioshock oh, and be like yeah. delayed hey, three delayed. times. Delayed. Like, don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah, but then again, the the final product of Bio, Bioshock Infinite they, was well worth it. Yeah, that's true. I'm surprised we'll they got see about they kept it under wraps for so long. Yeah, no yeah. one knew. Like it yeah. like literally hit the internet today and the internet exploded. Well they had what? the logos. <laughs> they had the logos come out beforehand. Like the Batman logo that GameStop got. But nobody knew it was gonna be Rocksteady. Well yeah, no one knew and they it thought was it was DLC. Yeah. yeah. Like Origins. Ooh. So great stuff. Uh go watch it anywhere you have internet. Because <laughs> it's uh, you just you can find it. Uh let's start with our let's do the picks of the week, what we're reading, watching, or playing. And uh, Gio, I think you had a good one, right? So we're gonna, you want to start with you? Which one? Day Tripper? 
Sure. Sure, Day Tripper. Whatever you're going to pick. Kill a kill. Yeah, yeah. we'll Whatever talk you about that. Whatever you want to pick. But Day Tripper is, I think it's Vertigo Comics. It's a graphic novel. It's about a, basically, the it takes place, it follows one guy, and in every, I guess you can say chapter, the guy ends up dying, but they continue the story. Oh. And at a different point in his in his age, and it's really awesome and fantastic. And they give you at the very end. There's like one last chapter, and they tell they give you the option to like continue reading or to just stop right there because that's where it ends. Oh, that's cool. I think cool. it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of. Yeah, kind of like right. yeah, and nice. it's like the final final thing, and then. But regardless whether you read it or not, it's 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 a. Is this a graphic it, novel? Yeah, it's a graphic novel. It's called. Is Day it Tripper. is it? It's all it's all it's all completed. Yeah, it's all completed. It's called Day Tripper. It's pretty it awesome. It's, uh, I was going to bring it in, and then I forgot it because I got other mm. stuff. One word? Yeah, Day Tripper. Is it one word? Yeah. I bought. It, I got it off of Amazon. So. There it is. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm going to add that to my recommendations here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That sounds like a great one. Yeah. Uh, Rachel? I haven't been watching or reading or playing <laughs> anyth- like anything new. I haven't really. Kill. Except, yeah, kill we can just talk about Kill a Kill some more. Yes. Because that's really... It's, I mean, episode 21 will come out on Thursday out of 24 episodes, mm-hmm. so it's almost over. And I don't know if you're not caught up at this point, you really should. What's the show about? God. What <laughs> about <laughs> in a bottle? It's about clothing. Yeah. It's about clothing. Yeah. It's about clothing cool. is really what it's about. Right. And it's about this clothing it enhances your powers, basically. It oh, okay. Your I mean, the plot, yeah. it's a pretty straightforward, it's mm-hmm. like this girl's getting revenge for her father's death, so she shows up at this weird school and is like fighting everyone there to try to get right. answers. And the people there have these special suits. She's fighting. They're actually called Goku suits. Yeah, called oh, Goku really? uniforms. Yeah. Yes. Goku suits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so That's it's cool. like and she's getting. She has her. She has her own. Yeah, she's and they all have like different star levels. So the more stars you have, the more stronger your costume. But recently, mm-hmm. in the past, oh, four episodes, the story has really started to take off into the climax, and it's gotten kind of really, really good. A lot of twists and turns. Yeah, a lot. Kill a Kill. Yeah, it's an anime. anime. And you can watch it on Crunchyroll, and you can watch it on Hulu, and you can watch it on Daisuke, but I don't know anybody who watches anything on Daisuke. Or you can watch it. (laughs) Or you can watch it on the internet, but you should watch it legally. Gotcha. It's a really good show. It's something something that's going to... I, I, yeah, if it, it hasn't already picked up, it's definitely gonna pick up within. There's, the there hasn't been an episode where nothing happened. The entire, there's no filler. It's been completely from episode one has been a s- unstoppable. <laughs> unstoppable. It's been unstoppable. All right, so I started reading Civil War. I finally bought the book. There it is for you guys. Um, the, the just the just the main canon. I finally was able to get it on Amazon because my local comic book shop was lagging <laughs> on it. I was like, "Can you order this for me? I really want to support you guys." Mm-hmm. Um, do you have you? Did you ever read it? Or the Civil War series. The Civil War series. No, yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's when all the Marvel characters yeah, against collide together. against each other. It was a big event that happened back in '06, and I was not reading comic books. Uh, I kind of took a hiatus at that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm now catching. I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm going back and catching up on all cool. the stuff I missed. So great one. Um, I got it for twenty five bucks for the whole like main series. There's all these spinoffs. There's X Men, Spider Man, um, the Fantastic Four that are separate little like leading up to the this event kind of thing. But the main event one, it's two hundred and thirty six pages. It's not that bad for twenty five bucks. Really cheap, and it's yeah. a nice you get a nice little like actual novel. It looks cool. like a novel. So check that one out. And uh, I think that's it. You guys want to plug anything? Any any upcoming events or anything? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Good. WonderCon's coming up in uh, April, but we'll talk April, about it. April, yeah. April 18th to 20th. I'm we'll going be, the 18th for sure. I just got my ticket. I'll probably uh, be attending all three days. You're going all three? Yeah, I okay, think so. Okay, so we'll meet up. We'll probably all meet up on the 18th. Dad, Ceci's going two days. She mm-hmm. said the 18th and maybe the 19th. Yeah, I'll probably be going all three and days. And are you going to go, Rachel? Of course I am. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Okay, I'll probably... So. Eh, I don't know if I'll go all three days. I'll probably go at least Saturday. Okay. Try to go Friday, too. <laughs> all of us can go. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm going to go Friday and Saturday, I'll just buy a three-day ticket. Yeah, Yeah. because it's. Because if you read my article that I wrote, yes, where I list all the prices for all of the conventions coming ah, up, another tr- another plug, <laughs> sidecon.com slash divergence. <laughs> all right, with that, that's it for the week, guys. Uh, you can catch us uh, on social media. I'm uh, at Eric D. Lucas on Twitter. These guys, you can probably find them somewhere on the internet. <laughs> I don't know where. Find me on the corner. <laughs> find around the corner. Come to Cypress College, and yeah. Jira will be uh, outside bumming dollars for, yeah. uh, for for a new Photoshop he needs or something. Yeah. <laughs> for a new filter he wants. Sure. <laughs> 
Uh, so you can catch all of our uh, shows, everything from episode zero all the way up to this episode number four on the Psychron Media Network, which is on YouTube. So just type in Psychron Media Network, go there, or go to Psychron.com. It's right there on the front page now, embedded right in the website. Whoa, crazy, right? Uh, again, this has been This Week in Geek for the week of March 2nd, March 3rd, 2014. Mardi Gras. <laughs> and uh, I've been... <laughs> Mardi, it's Mardi Gras this week? Yeah. Oh, Fat Tuesday. Well, go drink and throw beans at people for no reason. Uh, I'm your host, Eric Lucas, uh, joined as always by Rachel Dick and Giovanni Estrada. And we'll see you next Tuesday for more geeky goodness. Bye, guys. And chill. And we, try, and we tend to talk, and then, yeah, and... How long was that? He's, uh, that was pretty damn long. That felt oh, long. A little longer than...